So somebody was asking me about subnetworks. This Iovo network is getting closed down. Um, I'm going to explain why. Because this guy in five and a half minutes couldn't manage to do that. And this is why somebody asked me, could I explain what, the, what he was talking about? Well, they are not the network. They say they're a network. This is why it's an issue. Because they're not. They sit under freedom. This is the network. They're the partners. Because what you have with YouTube is you can actually sort of outsource your advertising to different people. Um, if we go to Social Blade, for example. If it decides to load. Social Blade are another group that you can have doing your advertising. Eventually. So you can actually sign up with these guys and they will also do your YouTube partnership freedom exactly the same we help you grow blah 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 these are in agreement with YouTube these obviously have some sort of direct agreement Zyovo network on the other hand seems to have had a network with freedom so as such YouTube sees that as a breach of contract or whatever because they're not um, actually the main client because obviously the main client is not Zayovi or whatever it's called it's freedom so YouTube doesn't want to have multi-tier people partnering with this blah 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 now I'm not sure what the issue is but it could be the fact that they cannot see how many people are in a partner group so say I signed up on this and I had 20 thousands because these guys did have 20,000 people under them um, you could actually turn around and say that's just my channel uh, in some form just say the you got 20,000 ads going through it uh, 20,000 video uh, makers so you are uploading 20,000 videos a week or whatever so you may get more churn on your videos etc because YouTube doesn't see it properly um, I don't really know why, but it could be legalities, for example, um, because there's contracts with different advertising agencies or whatever. There may be specific contracts that says this is a breach of contract. It's a bit like call centers when they outsource from, say, you're working HSBC Bank and they outsource it to India. Then, say, it was outsourced from India to other sub people. Um, sub call centers elsewhere well the chances of being able to understand what went wrong somewhere becomes very difficult because at the top level uh, you have the original call centers were hired but you've got these other sub layers it could make it very very difficult to identify when something is not running right so that's why I think it's there uh, I may be completely wrong but that's what a sub network is. A sub network is not somebody who's directly working with uh, YouTube, but working under another advertising thing. So, like for me, I can sign up with these, but I can't have you then sign up under me. Um, it's not a multi tier system. Thanks for watching.